Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a closer look at working with solid models. Now, in this example, I want to uh, take a look at what it's like if you were to get a solid model from somewhere else. Let's say a customer has provided you with a solid works file or a SAT file or a step file. All right, so what we want to do is I'm already created some wireframe geometry in our previous video. We use this wireframe geometry to create our solid. Let's quickly delete that. Uh, to delete something within one CNC, you have to select it first. I'm going to use our select by color option. When you select that, one CNC scans your drawing area and it shows you the available colors. I'm going to grab blue and click OK, and then simply just hit the delete key on the keyboard. And the reason why I did that is I want to emulate what it's like if you get a model from someone else. So let's say a customer has provided this solid model to us. Now, when we go into manufacturing, it might be necessary or it might be beneficial if you had wireframe geometry. Now, within 1CNC, there's lots of neat tools for extracting a geometry uh, from your solid model, and that's what I'd like to demonstrate. We're going to head back over here to Model Tools. All right, and so you can see there's some commands here. There's extract an edge, extract surface, extract model, and extract everything. Now, let's take a look at extract model first. This is real simple. You just select the command, take your cursor, left hand mouse click, and as soon as you do that, you instantly have wireframe geometry that's created at all the edges. All right, now this may be a little bit of an overkill. We have some extra geometry along these lines here that you may not want, but that's a real quick way to create geometry. Now, I'm going to undo this by hitting Control Z, Control Zebra on the keyboard. That's a standard Windows command for undo. You can also use the undo button up here. Okay, so that was extract model edges. If you uh, choose this option called extract everything, if you had multiple models up here, it would extract edges from everything you can see on the screen. Okay, let's take a look now at extract surface edges. This is a real powerful one. You just take your cursor, hover over any surface, and then left hand mouse click, and when you do that, one CNC quickly creates the geometry along all the edges of that surface. Let's do that again. Extract surface edges. I'm going to rotate around and I'm going to grab that surface right there. That looks great. Okay, let's do it one more time. Extract surface edges. We'll grab that surface and you can see one CNC extracts the edges. Okay, let's undo this. We're going to hit Control Z on the keyboard, Control Zebra. Again, that's just like hitting the undo button here. Let's take a look at this other option called Extract an Edge. Now what this will do is this will extract geometry along an edge, but it also extracts geometry along all tangent edges. So for example, for this part, if we take a look at this line, you can see how it's tangent to that arc right there, and that arc's tangent to that line, that line's tangent to that arc, and so on. Okay. So if I use the Extract an Edge tool, and if I just grab this edge here, you can see one CNC by default is not only going to extract that edge, but all tangent geometry. Now that it's stopped here because at this corner, it's no longer tangent. Same over here. This isn't tangent. It's a sharp corner. Uh, we can duplicate the same thing over here. If I grab this edge or any one of these edges here along the top, one CNC by default will extract that edge along with all tangent geometry. So that's what you're seeing right there. All right, but what if you want to just extract one edge? How can you do that? That's really very simple. What you do is you go with extract an edge, but this time you hold the tab key down on the keyboard. So as I'm holding the tab key, now I can left hand mouse click, and by holding the tab key down, that's disabling that select tangent entities as well. So it's easy now to come in and just select one edge at a time. Very, very simple. Okay, let's undo this. Control Z. Now I want to create some geometry that we're going to use later on for some subsequent manufacture. So look, why don't we use our extract surface edges? I'm going to grab that surface there. Okay. And so we can use this geometry, for example, if I want to take an end mill and drive it along this edge right here, I can use those three shapes that were extracted from there. Why don't we extract a surface edge along the top there? And if we want, we can use that for maybe profiling uh, around this boss. That looks very good. And we might want to take an end mill and drive it all the way around the entire shape. So why don't we rotate this around? We'll go back into Extract Surface Edges, and I'll grab that. And that looks great. So now we have we have our part. Uh, let's say it was given to us by a customer. We've uh, 
taken that part we've extracted some geometry from that and now if we want to we can use that geometry within manufacture it's not always required to do that but it's definitely a nice nice set of tools in case you want to do that thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video